So guys, welcome back to another Team of the Season player review. This time we have the brand new Team of the Season, Ricardo Charisma. Now, just before we get into this review, as you'll see in the background, EA actually released two Team of the Seasons tonight, one being the Turkish League and one being the Saudi League. So in the comments below, what I want to know from you guys is, which of these players would you like to see me do a review on? None of them seem to be particularly expensive, so I can pretty much pick up any of them. So like I said, let me know in the comments which you want me to pick up and try out. And also, it, while you're in the comments, let me know which of these team seasons you've already tried and how they were for you. And one more thing before we continue, if you could leave a like on the video, that as always would be very much appreciated. Really do appreciate all your guys' support throughout team the season so far. Anyway, let's get back onto Charisma now. Over the past season, he's helped Besiktas win the Turkish League again. In 26 appearances, he scored twice and got 13 assists, so he has contributed to a lot of goals, especially with those assists. This Team of the Season card actually comes out of packs as a right mid, but as you can see, I've converted him to a right forward to use him in what is one of my favourite formations this year, the 4-3-2-1. So let's quickly talk about the squad. So as you can see, I did use two lone legends in Petit and Overmars just to get full chemistry because I'm pretty comfortable with um, a Premier League back four, so I wanted to somehow get that in there. And uh, yeah, the team overall played pretty well, to be honest. We didn't lose any of the games. We won all six, which was nice. And I've got to say, Eto and Charisma at top were pretty damn good. So for those of you who are interested, here are the custom tactics that I use with this team. Pretty much just my standard custom tactics. I put the speed up to about 80, 75, 80 normally. Um, I keep chance creation, all that stuff, all the same. I change my defensive line to cover and also I up the pressure to about 65, 70. I will point out though, in-game naturally, this team this season, Charisma card, does like to come inside a lot. So if you do want him to stay out wide, you may want to use some different instructions. Anyway, I think it's about time we actually clicked on this Charisma card and had a look at how he performed for me. As you can see, in the six games I played, he managed to get himself eight goals and got four assists. And that is a pretty good record, contributing to 12 goals in six games overall. Very impressive from this team of the season Charisma card. So, as you can see, I paid 320k for him and I actually managed to sell him on for a nice profit of minus, like, 60k. Because, like, I sold him for 260k. So, uh, yeah, lost a bit of coinage on this one. I probably should have kept him a bit longer, and maybe he'd have gone up overnight. But, didn't want to take the risk, so, uh, yeah, 60k loss for me. But still, had a lot of fun using this card, as you'll see in the upcoming clips. It's a brilliant looking card with 4 star weak foot and 5 star skill moves for, for you skills out there. I think this is a card that you'll definitely enjoy. So, let's move on to his in-game stats. Well, finally, his in-game stats. It's taken a while. So, physically, as you can see, the standard attributes include his 97 agility, his 65 strength, which I'll talk about why it stands out in a moment, his 91 balance, and his 82 stamina. Now, the reason I've picked out the 82 stamina and the 65 strength, despite them not being particularly high, is in-game, I think his strength is a lot better than that. He battled a lot for me. And yeah, you'll see in the upcoming clips, he's a lot stronger than that stat actually suggests. I also picked out his stamina, and the reason for that is because, to be honest with you, it's just not that good, and it's something that you should be aware of, especially if you sprint a lot with your wingers, because he isn't going to last a full game if you abuse him too much. So now let's speak about some of his skill attributes that stood out anyway. The 91 ball control was great, combine that with his 97 dribbling, he's brilliant to run at defences with. He's got 99 crossing and 99 curves, so his deliveries are absolutely brilliant. And as you saw at the start, he got plenty of assists, and that's the reason for it. His deliveries in general, his passing, are all absolutely brilliant. He's got 81 finishing, which is um, something that I don't agree with at all. I thought his finishing in general in-game was brilliant, so no complaints from me there. And let's come on to his 96 long shots, which for me were very freaking useful. And combine those 96 long shots with his 96 shot power and you'll score some absolute bangers. The 96 shot power was great. You'll see that he put some shots away with some real kick behind them in the clips. So, Team Season Kresme, all sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And to be honest, he was very good. He was very fun to use, and on the ball, he's just so freaking fluid. He's definitely up there for me with some of the best dribblers in the game. His close control dribbling is top, top class. He can be an absolute nightmare to dispossess for the defenders. I found Kresme to be one of them players who, you know, just likes to battle for the ball. So when he loses it, like what I mean is, when he loses the ball, he'll fight to win it back, and despite his 25 defending on his card, He'll fight and put in the tackles to retrieve possession. So for me, Charisma on the ball, I've got no complaints really. He's fast, 
he's agile, he's got good balance, he's fluid in possession, and despite the average strength, as previously mentioned, he battles, and he does win quite a lot of the tussles. So now let's discuss his shooting, which is something that I overall was pretty damn impressed with. First of all, his standard finishing in front of goal. His in-game stat, as previously mentioned, is just 81, but in-game I felt he was a lot better than that stat suggests. I thought in front of goal, for most part, he was very freaking solid. I love his finesse shots, whether that was in or outside the box, and long shot wise, I love this card. He just bangs them with either foot, which obviously is very pleasing. Four star weak foot, not a problem at all. And yeah, just very pleased overall with his shooting, nothing too bad to say. And with him being a right forward and right footed on that side, he's with the shot power as well, he's perfect to just bang it across goal with, because it's either going to go into the back of the net far side, or the goalkeeper's not going to be able to hold it, he's going to palm it out, and your left forward or your striker is going to get a tap in. And as if by magic, as if my editing wasn't timing it, um, you know, Karezma, left footed, weak foot, top corner, very nice shot from him for that goal. Passing now, and like I said at the start, his crossing and general service is great. He didn't get them assists out of luck. His short passing was quick and accurate, perfect for some pass and move, some one-twos down the wing just to get the ball moving forward at pace. And I liked his long passing as well, which is great for when you're stuck. You can use a lofted long pass and switch the ball to another player. And once again, with his passing, that four-star weak foot was very helpful as it means that he can distribute the ball very well off of both feet. Physically, I think we've been over pretty much everything. I covered a lot of it when we spoke about his dribbling and how he is on the ball. And I want to go over his stamina again because, like I mentioned previously, it's not the best. But one of the reasons for that is he tires quite quickly because he moves a lot. And um, whether that's with you being on the ball with him or off the ball because he does a lot of off the ball movement. He makes a lot of good runs, which obviously is pleasing. And then um, you'll also notice that he likes to run inside a lot as well. So positionally, to be honest, he was brilliant. He was always making himself available, always making good runs, and he was just very effective in that right forward role and getting into some good positions to help create chances for the team. Weak foot, as I already mentioned, no issues. Fast ass skills, huge bonus, and especially for you skillers, you'll absolutely love this card. Just before the summary, we've got a new little comparison page, which is something I'm going to work on and make better for future reviews. Now, I've actually used all three Charisma cards this year, I actually didn't like his non-inform, I thought his inform was okay, but as you can probably already tell, I absolutely loved his team of the season card, so if you're considering getting any of these, if you've got the coins, for me, I have to recommend the team of the season over the other two. It, I know it's the obvious thing to say, but his team of the season is just miles better, miles, miles better than both previous cards, especially shooting wise, I can't stress that enough. I am going to work on this comparison thing, I'm going to make it a lot better graphically, so bear with me. If you've got any ideas for that, let me know in the comments. So, it's summary time, and as you can see, I'm going to give this Team of the Season Ricardo Charisma card a very respectful 9.7 out of 10. It's a great card, it's a fun card, and it's a card that I definitely recommend picking up for sure. And if you do pick him up, I personally advise him at right forward or right wing. That's if you like to shoot with your wingers, but if you've got a target man striker, right mid will be fine as well. Use his great pace, use his fluid dribbling and abuse his great deliveries to whip in balls into the box for some easy header goals. Or alternatively, you can use him to cut inside and take off shots. Either way, we'll work with this card. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on this Team of the Season Ricardo Charisma card. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Also, comment below if you've tried him, how he was for you. And also remember to let me know which other Team of the Season cards that I should do a player review on. And just quickly before I go, if you could, let me know if you would prefer this kind of review where I talk a bit more. I felt like I've covered a lot more in this review than I normally do. So uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Do you prefer the shorter three to four minute ones or these ones that are a bit longer and, you know, a bit more... Um, a bit more informative, that's the word I was looking for. Anyway guys, I have rambled on for long enough now, so thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. For those of you who are still here, let's just have a quick another look at this team of the season. So, we've got the likes of Martin Skett, we've got Samuel Eto, who I'm definitely going to use, we've got Wagner Love, who looks very good, and also Lenz, who I definitely want to try out if I get the chance to do so. Saudi League wise, I definitely want to try Al Soma, that car looks freaking amazing, and also the gold left winger as well because he looks very freaking good.